welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Katherine Chen. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their March 7, 2023 meeting. During special presentations, City Council proclaimed the month of March as National Women's History Month, appreciating the many contributions and achievements of women within the El Segundo community and the vital role and importance of women in American history. Council Member Carol Perstek accepted the proclamation. Following public communications, City Manager Daryl George introduced Dr. Michael K. Stenstrom, who is working with the city to help address the ongoing odors and noxious gases coming from the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. Dr. Stenstrom is an expert in aeration systems, large treatment plant design and operations, and spearheaded the ad hoc committee which made 33 recommendations to improve Hyperion after the spill in July 2021. Dr. Stenstrom stated that the 33 recommendations did not include future improvements to odor control, but will be part of recommendations made as part of his work with the city. Dr. Stenstrom's goal is to have Hyperion test for emissions other than hydrogen sulfide and, if necessary, remove them, setting an example to other agencies for more advanced odor control. City Manager Daryl George further added that starting March 7th through March 17th, there will be measurement activities for new primary tank covers, which might release some odors. Odor mitigation measures will be used and the work will take place between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. on weekdays. South Coast Air Quality Management District, or AQMD, reports that odor complaints have been low in the past few weeks and that no notices of violation have been issued since January 17th. AQMD continues to evaluate Hyperion's compliance with conditions under the order of abatement. In compliance with those orders, LA Sanitation has submitted reports to AQMD detailing equipment refurbishment and odor mitigation procedures for the truck loading and unloading facilities. Information about Hyperion can be found on the city's website at elsegundo.org forward slash Hyperion. Mayor Boyles and Councilmember Baldino recused themselves due to conflicts of interest before a staff presentation where Public Works Director Elias Sassoon and Giuseppe Canzanieri with KOA Corporation presented a resolution to approve the design of the Smoky Hollow Parking Pilot Project, which would convert Nevada Street and Oregon Street between El Segundo Boulevard and Grand Avenue and California Street between El Segundo Boulevard and Franklin Avenue from current two-way operation to one-way operation and create 43 additional angled parking stalls. After discussion, City Council approved the resolution. The design will go out to bid with anticipated completion of the project by summer 2023. During committees, commissions and boards presentations, Mayor Drew Boyles announced Mario Inga's appointment to the Planning Commission. During reports, Councilmember Lance Giroux discussed restructuring the membership of the Aquatic Subcommittee. Councilmember Giroux itemized goals for the El Segundo Aquatic Center to be a regional force in competitive aquatic sports and to reestablish cost recovery and equitable fees for both city and shareholders. Goals for the plunge include making it into the area's foremost community-focused aquatics facility. After discussion, Council advised city staff to work with the current Aquatic Subcommittee to source additional community members with a background in aquatics to help focus on the business management aspect. Mayor Drew Boyles discussed new technologies and strategies related to policing presented at the 2023 U.S. Conference of Mayors, including a 30 percent female police force by 2030 and a third-party audit of use of force. Police Chief Jaime Bermudez reported that ESPD currently has 8 percent female sworn officers and 20 percent total female. He also reported that ESPD totaled 0.07 percent use of force last year. Council recommended a third-party assessment on use of force in 2024. Finally, City Council adjourned in memory of former Monrovia Mayor Pro Tem and Council Member John Nabrega Jr. To watch the complete City Council meeting for March 7, 2023 and learn more about the agenda items covered, visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. The next meeting will be on Tuesday, March 21st.